Very well, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Break Star Ocean 2. Last time we talked about specialities and we've done a lot of private actions just for fun. And we only have one in Mars that we'll do because we have to go there. Uh, I've done some stuff off screen, not too much though. I mainly went around and did some fishing. I did turn in a couple of challenges about fishing, but they, all they gave me was more stuff for fishing. So, hooray for fishing! And that's it, that's all I did. I did have to allocate a few points on Rena for fishing, but not too much. Uh, let's see if I can show you. I go over to improve. Where's fishing? I will go over here. There we go. I did gain... I was like a level 3 fishing, then one of the rewards gave me books to raise both of those skills. So I raised them up. This one to 7, this one to 4. By the way, books can only bring you up to level 7. So yeah, just so you know, uh, they used to bring you up to level 5, but now you can go up to 7, which is nice. Uh, but that's it. That's all we did off screen. Not much. So let's just go to Mars. Let's move the story along because it's been a while. Okay, we don't get... I thought we were getting an event once we go into here, but nope. Uh, let's go ahead and change the leader to Claude. If I remember how to do it. Let's see if any of these people have anything useful to steal. Probably not much. Remember here, uh, there is, I showed you in a few episodes ago. Uh, this guy has a treasure box. Or the goodie box. Steal it, it's good. Because you can save scum it and get some powerful stuff. Other than that, we'll check the shop and see if they have they have good armor. Uh, nothing here. Uh, nope, steal from you. Yeah, these guys have nothing. Hang on, there's upstairs too. Might be NPCs over here. And there's nothing, a whole lot of nothing. Gotta keep an eye on that notification on the, la on the right. And just in case you get a counterfeit medal. Gotta be ready to see if that happens. Nothing. Nothing. Well, revival card and critical card, I guess they're nice. Mm, nothing here. Well, let's go into this shop. We can also do the private action before we progress the story. What do you have? I believe this is a character's favorite food. One that we don't have yet. Uh, but I'm not super sure about it. I know that Carter's favorite food is a soup, but I'm not sure if that's the soup. Alright, we're only missing the shop. These guys should have some cool stuff. If, you, if you're if you not uh, breaking the game, this shop has really good equipment. That's as far as I remember, it's got good equipment. Yeah, the Flame Zord, uh, if you're not breaking the game, this Zord is great. Uh, it's probably the... Well, not, maybe that's the best Zord you can get in the first continent. Definitely grab it. Ruby 1, we don't need that. Again, the Cestus, we don't really need Rina with a lot of attacks, so who cares. It probably... It, it gives intelligence? Yeah, it gives a little bit of intelligence, but... Eh, plus 10, I guess, but it's not really useful. Sure, she'll heal for more, I guess, but... What do we have here? Yeah, I would rather get the fence, thank you. Uh, yeah, we'll need that for Celine, definitely. This one for Rina, we don't really need it. That's the the, the deal, but... I actually have one. Uh, Celine has it. Uh, sure, we'll buy another one. Why not? And then that's it. Uh, we'll buy some of these, actually. I have money to blow to just spare just buy a bunch of these. And sure, let's fill up on blueberries as well. Those are the healing items, these heal poison, which may be useful. Blackberries heal and peas, they heal a lot, so I'm okay with just I'm gonna buy two, why not? Resurrection looks here, I'm fine. Uh, these things are very useful. When you don't have the protection from those status ailments, because essentially both paralysis and stone are, uh, they just block a character. Except paralysis wears off after a pretty long period of time, the stone doesn't. 
But if all of your party members are paralyzed and or stoned, uh, you die. That's it, game over. So they're sort of essentially the same status. Just that, you know, <laughs> there's two of them. Uh, okay. Yeah, you get the magical cap for two more defense. You know what we can do also, since there's... Seems to be... Flare ring is nice, though. Can I get that? Can I get either of these two? Really? 350% chance and get nothing. And I cannot steal from you for whatever reason. Okay. Uh, we can also check the uh, the, the port town. Ah, uh, sure, whatever, heal me. Um, uh, not this one. Harley, yes. I believe... We might find some other stuff in here. Now, you're about to go into the next dungeon. In Mars. And just so you know, in the next dungeon, uh, if you're playing Claude scenario, you're gonna have to only use Claude and Celine. So you wanna make sure Celine is has good equipment. You don't get Rena in that dungeon. Uh, if you're playing Rena scenario, so if you chose Rena at the very beginning, uh, you play with Rena and another character that we'll meet in a second. And you don't really have to do much on that one because the other character is super high level; they'll carry you throughout the entire dungeon. But on this one, you need to be a little more careful. And in fact, I'm gonna go buy the shield. And yeah, play Greaves. And I have enough of the Brigantine as well. Buy all of that. Yeah, definitely. Very useful. Alright then, I think that's enough. We'll do this private action. And then we'll move on. Actually, there's one house that I didn't go to. Let's go there first. It's this house over here. There might be a cutscene as we get in. There should be one. No, there's not. Because this is Celine's home. I was expecting a cutscene to happen. It's that little, like, Celine going, Hey, you know what? This is my house. So we'll go into Celine's room. There's nothing to steal. I believe there's a treasure chest over here. That This might be an armor for her. Silk robe that we already have, so, nah. Yeah, we'll be back here eventually. Alright then. Let's go over... Yeah, we only have... We haven't gone in here yet. The dungeon is that way, and if you're playing the original, that's where you want to go to farm money for the 20k. Uh, if you want to steal... If you, you want to get the Thief Glove to steal. Because the enemies in there early on are pretty good and strong, and you can get a lot of experience from them. So I almost forgot to do this private action. Let's see what's going on here. I do not remember this one at all. What are you up to? Oh, hey, Claude. Look at this stuff. I just love all these accessories. You normally don't find stuff like this for sale in a street stand. Oh, you're right. Although, I can't really see them. They have some pretty nice stuff, yeah. Don't they? We're so lucky this guy was out here today. You can't be any more right about that. My handcrafted accessory is the best in the land. You won't find anything like him anywhere else. And why is that? Well, because I'm the most talented craftsman in the land, of course. I totally need to get this. And that is that, I believe. Barpule amulet? I don't know. We can try. Hey, we got it. Rina? Why do you have my portrait? You got something to tell me? I don't know what that is, I just stole. It's probably crap, let's find out. Eh, reduces time until escape by 30%. Uh, I guess it gives me luck then, which I think is critical hits. No, it's guts. Guts is critical, luck is like... Uh, how much you get, like, status ailment. The, the higher your luck, the less likely you get status ailment. Oh well, it's going here. And let's move on this plot. Because we've been stuck doing nothing for a while. Celine. Mother, what is going on here? This is your mom? Yes, I grew up in this village. Oh, I didn't know you were born in Mars. Have a seat though, as we were just about to begin.
We are facing the greatest crisis in the history of Mars. Elder, we are still unaware of the events that led up to this situation. Could you kindly fill us in? Please, allow me to explain. Yes, Father. Sometime last evening, every child in the village simply vanished, as if they were rubbed out of existence. As we scrambled to form a search party, this man here came back from the Forest of Symbols with a disturbing message. I was by myself in the forest at the time, uh, practicing my symbology. Then all of a sudden, a bandit appeared before me. I steeled myself for battle, but he simply stood there and told me this before he disappeared into the woods. Our boss has your children. If you want them back, bring us 500,000 foal and the secret book. What's this secret book he's talking about? We cannot reveal specifics, but it is a book that describes the unique form of symbology passed down through the generations in this village. When we heard the story, we were all at a loss as to what to do. Not only did we learn that our children were kidnapped, but that bandits were encroaching on the forest of symbols. The forest has been protected for ages by holy symbols etched into the land itself, repulsing the wicked and evil-hearted. If they have broken through that barrier, then we must face a dire reality. Our enemy is more powerful than any that has come before. But the children, are they safe? According to a second messenger, the children are being held by the bandits deep inside the forest. He said that until we fulfill their demands, they'll stay exactly where they are. We don't know anything else about the children. The Forest of Symbols is a special training ground for us symbologists. Furthermore, its landscape and terrain make it a natural fortress difficult to penetrate. If it were simply a pack of bandits we were dealing with, it would take no more than a small team to dispatch them. But the lives of our children are at stake. We can ill afford to make any rash moves. They may be simple bandits, but they have proven at least strong enough to break the barrier protecting the Forest of Symbols. Their defeat would mean nothing if the children were to be caught in the carnage. It seems like there's nothing much we can do. We haven't been sitting here simply twiddling our thumbs. One of our search team has already discovered the location of the bandit hideout. With that information in hand, all we need now is a way to rescue the children. Oh, so you're set then? We are. But as I mentioned earlier, we fear that to act by ourselves would prove to be insufficient. Fate has brought us a master swordsman. We thought we could ask him to join us in our rescue effort. Diaz! Reyna? You know this man, Reyna? Yes! We come from the same village. Is this the swordsman you're talking about? That he is. There are few fighting men in this world who haven't heard the name Diaz Flack. You have nothing to worry about, then. Diaz is the strongest swordsman in the world. He could kill the whole group by himself! So has Diaz agreed to your request, Father? He accepted the job. Said it would be a good warm-up for the liqueur armory contest. But there is one snag. I'm firmly against it. We know nothing of this stranger. I would rather we storm the forest ourselves than rely on the whims of outsiders. Oh no, you can totally trust Diaz. I know him really well. He's an honest man, and as a fighter, no one can even come close. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced than you to speak on his behalf, young lady. This is our village's problem, it's true. Perhaps it is irresponsible of us to throw it on the shoulders of a passing swordsman. In that case, Father, I have the perfect solution to our problem. Would it be all right if we defeated the bandits for you? Celine, are you sure? Of course. It would be the perfect opportunity to display the fruits of my training. I don't care either way, but if you're kicking me off the team, I'm out of here. 
Don't come whining to me if that loudmouth girl screws everything up, got it? Of all the rude things to say. Don't you think you're being the rude one here? Barging into the middle of things and disrupting all of our plans? I'm done here. If you need me, I'll be back at the inn. Father, are you seriously going to leave everything to that rogue? We could rend that pathetic rabble of bandits to shreds by ourselves, and you know it. I know how you feel, Celine, but... Reyna... I have yet to see hide nor hair of Reyna. I guess she's still visiting with Diaz. Do you really think he wants to take all of them on by himself? Sure looks that way to me. He's certainly confident enough of his chances, anyway. Ugh. What could the Elder be thinking? I cannot believe he still wants that person to do this. Come on, Claude. Let's give him a piece of our mind. Uh, okay. What? Aren't you interested? I've already convinced my father. You're late. Did that man do something to you? Listen, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but I want to have Diaz join our group. What are you talking about? I asked Diaz, and he promised me that he would fight alongside us. Well, it only makes sense that he'd listen to the cute girl next door instead of everyone else. That wasn't the issue here. I'm telling you, he's a first-class swordsman. He'd be a huge asset to us out there. What do you think, Claude? He said he could do it all by himself. What's the point of having him along, then? How could you say something like that? Well, it's true, isn't it? Besides, do we really even need him? Huh. Well, I guess I'm going with Diaz, then. Reyna. Maybe you don't need him, Claude, but I do. Oh well. Let her do what she wants. The plan is set to go underway tomorrow. We should make any preparations we need and return to the Elder's house. So what? You don't need me? I guess she doesn't. Uh, yeah. At uh, this point, all we gotta do is tell the Elder that we're ready. We already vis visited the shop, although... Just to make this episode a little longer, because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop just before we head into the dungeon. It's not a particularly long dungeon, but there's a bunch of cutscenes. And doing all of those in one single fell swoop will take forever. Like, it'll be an episode of 45 minutes. I've worked best with myself, other people just get in the way. I cannot pickpocket you for some reason. Not you, not either, not you either. Not gonna change my mind, okay. Well, I guess that's that then. Uh, not much, di not much dialogue from Rina and Diaz. Uh, I was hoping for a bit more, uh, but no, we're good. But now you can see why um, you need to have Selena be sort of competent. We'll talk about that later. Oh, we have a mission here. What do we complete? Drive with party members ten times in private action. We get a ring of trust plus. Uh, well, well, we'll check our equipment tomorrow. Well, tomorrow next time. Yeah, I think we're good. So let's just tell the other that we're ready. And oh, I can pickpocket you guys. A sucro plus, can I get that? Nope. Nope. And okay, I got it. Let's see what that has. Start a curiosity. Hey, not bad. Uh Silver Cross is somewhat nice. The scream maybe? That would be good. It's a spell. Essentially, as you cast a spell. I guess the bestiary can be nice. It's a book that teaches a skill. What's going on in here? Another popular amulet? Silence card that's useless. Uh, there are some things you can examine here. Let's see. What do you want to read? Symbology. Effecting a symbology spell can be increased by gaining experience. Where time a spell can be developed in a truly powerful form. Symbology 2. 
As the speech of concentration, considerably boosts the skill of symbology. As the speech can shorten incantation time, concentration allows for interrupted incantation. Symbologists who have acquired these skills will find themselves an advantage in any battle. All this self explanatory. Origins of symbology. This might be interesting. Origin of symbology is not clearly known. What is known is the practice of tattooing symbols onto the skin to enhance a person's latent talent, talents has been in place for countless generations. A long time ago, a heavenly figure descended from the sky and tattooed mysterious words into the palms of the Mars people. Those who were tattooed found that they gained special powers. These words uh, were in fact powerful spells written in the language of the gods who had come from above. Okay, so that's interesting. I believe what symbology really is, it is explained in Star Ocean 3. I think. But I'm not gonna say what it is, because saying what it is would mean to explain pretty much the ending. Not the ending, but the biggest plot twist in Star Ocean 3. Which, if you know what that is, uh, well... Well, if you know what that is, you know what that is. I'll just put it that way. It's weird. It's very weird. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's talk to the Elder, let's see what's going on. Will you be sleeping already? Let's go.